Hey everybody, welcome back to Detroit Tesla. We just got 11.4.4. I'm a little late to the party, but again, this is a new vehicle. So I have my destination set. We're gonna get right into it. I purposely picked this random street um, when I was down here in Detroit because it's super narrow and cars come from the other side. Unfortunately, we can't get an interaction as of right now to have cars come from the other side because I've seen other beta testers um, like out in Cali and stuff have certain scenarios where they're really narrow streets and oncoming cars and one of them has to stop all the way back from where there's space um, on the opposite side. So this is going right into what I thought was a pothole, but luckily it's just a manhole cover that needs to be fixed a little bit. Um, so the car is creeping, it's in the way of pedestrians and they turn, so that's good. Nice left turn onto Woodward and oh wow it picked the yellow lane and then went out uh, into the proper lane where traffic is actually going south which is exactly what it needs to do and going right before this car was coming quick behind us um, which is really really good I'm gonna bring out my cameras here so so far the behavior compared to like older versions man it is just way way better let me unplug my radar detector here because it's probably going to go off a couple times we don't need it for this drive but um the car on our right here wants to go and turn right okay they decided again to merge over i thought they were going to try to go down this street so now it's trying to get behind the volkswagen that's trying to turn which still has that behavior where it likes to get into the far right lane a little bit of hard braking there but it's okay they kind of didn't know where they were going and that was last minute so it's a little bit um slowing down for i'm assuming that gentleman uh on his little i don't know what the term is <laughs> but um yeah so it still likes to weave a little bit left and right with the rail, uh, the Amtrak rails that are here. This is a lane that you can travel in, but most of the time, most people that go downtown towards Woodward, where we are right now, likes to, you know, stick in the outer left lanes. Um, after this light, I might tell the car to do that. Um, that'd be pretty cool if they could introduce a setting to avoid that. Just because I got these big 21s on here, and when you have thin tires and big rims, every little, like, kind of like dip or valley in the road just makes the car a little bit more i wouldn't say unstable but it kind of more wobbly um so now it's going to the far left which is interesting lane that is not really sure why it was picking that and what it's deciding to do but i know a lot of the other beta testers are on 11.4.7 i saw chuck cook got it which is awesome. Um, again, if you guys are first time watchers of this channel, viewers, I just recently picked up this Model S Plaid like a month and a half ago. So it already had beta from the previous owner. And, you know, I'm assuming that depending where it was in the, uh, you know, kind of release cycle for the beta. I heard that doesn't apply anymore. And what I mean by that is that like, was it the first, the second wave of the beta when it went public outside of the original 2000 OG testers that were on YouTube, like Dirty Tesla, Chuck Cook, uh, Black Tesla, all those guys. So it's um, interesting, but I I'm assuming that they're trying to push it to newer vehicles. And I've heard people that are on subscriptions get them a lot quicker which is strange a buddy of mine went ahead and uh with his girlfriend he has a model 3 at his house an early one like a 2018 and then his girlfriend got into it and she just leased a model 3 and she subscribed to fsd the 199 a month with which is 210 actually a month in michigan with the six percent sales tax and they went ahead and subscribed and she gets the updates a lot quicker versus him uh so that is um pretty strange that they do that but apparently they do that and um you know it's just very interesting to see that and all of that that happens but it's a beautiful day here in downtown lots of activities going on you can see it looks like that was a bridal uh bachelorette party excuse me of bridesmaids that were you know having some fun on the little push bikes so 
I believe there's something going on because when I picked this route in the navigation, it was showing a lot of red towards like Campus Martius, which this is for us a typical drive. So let's see. Uh, okay, using merging into other lane, into faster lane. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, so far it's a lot smoother than a, a dot three dot six. So much smoother, which I like that. There was one version I remember in the late 10s or early 11s, it was so smooth. I think it was the late 10s and they kind of took that away. But this is going back to more of a, of a smoother version, less jerky, less undecisive, all of that. So it is green. A lot of pedestrians around. I like how it anticipated this gentleman. He was on his phone in the middle of the road and you know, it was still going. It didn't just like stop. It kind of like slowly started going and saw that he was going back into the street. So I'm assuming that the neural net because of the training data picked that up. It's like, okay, this person's going back or like redecided, you know, in that situation. So nicely um, waiting for this vehicle. And now we can't go because it's a yellow light. Um, but nicely coming to a stop, waiting for that vehicle to go. If it was green, it would have went. But in the meantime, we caught a yellow light, which is fine. And it's it's a good thing that it didn't do any stupid, you know, decisions because that was a Detroit cop that passed us. So we don't want to get a ticket with beta. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure DPD would let me off the hook once I explained to them what I'm doing. Because uh, DPD is trained a little bit different since this is a high crime city. But let's see what's going on there's a lot of people coming from the south it looks like there was a tigers game now that i'm looking at the shirts off to my right it looks like the detroit tigers were playing um it wanted to go left for whatever reason okay stopping that's bad there's a car behind us and he had to brake a little bit harder um it wants to go left so just for the sake of my sanity i'm gonna go into autopilot i'm gonna try this minimal lane change for current drive uh, so I can stop doing that. It wants to go left so bad, but there's a car there. And now I realize why it wanted to. This car was, looks like it has hazards on, just shut them off, and is just stationary there. Oh, yes, and it said on the screen, too, changing lanes for path blockage. That was really good how far away it anticipated that. I wasn't even noticing. Um, so now it's changing lanes again to follow route. Okay, so I didn't have to really mess with that setting. Wow, the system, um, hard yellow brake here. Okay, so now this is interesting. It stopped like it was supposed to um, and let this gentleman go. Um, but now the issue is, how is it going to know when to go? Because it's so underneath the light. How is it going to know it's green? Like, I have to literally look up into this awesome roof I have, glass roof above me. And it literally has to, you know what I mean? How is it going to see? I might have to push it through here, guys, because it, it did the right choice not running the yellow light if it was unsure. But now it wants to creep forward, and now the light the light is green, so I unfortunately have to push it through because I saw that the light was green. I can't see that. So, again, definitely big improvements. I remember coming through here, I was always confused. Let's see, let's see how it handles itself. Okay, merging into the lane. A little bit of confusion, but it got it correct. These, okay, that was okay. That was decent. It was a little nervous, I think, around all the other cars. Um, but lots of lane changes to stay right, which is okay. But let's, uh, while we're here in this traffic, let's, let's pick another destination. Okay. So now it wants to go around. All right. That's fine. We can take a different route. That is cool. It's kind of hanging out with this, uh, explorer here. There's a state police right there to the right. So God, I hope the car doesn't do anything crazy, but so far the drive has been nice. A lot better, like I said, than 3.6, but, okay. So it's not highlighting anybody. I think it's cautious around the pedestrians. And it should be cautious turning because this is a state cop next to us. Okay. Oh, goes into, okay, okay. That's a big improvement because we have to turn left on this light. And what it would usually do in every turn is pick the first lane, then go over. But the way we drive in Michigan is it just, it went into the outer lane. It was a little bit hesitant. You saw there on the yoke. But wow, that is a big improvement. And I have heard that from other beta testers in Michigan that don't have YouTube channels, but just, you know, have FSD because they like it. That's a big improvement. A little bit of hard jerkiness there because it was confused. But 
it found its way. That's the important part. So some of you might say, why am I not reporting certain things? I don't want to keep it disengaging for certain parts because if it figures it out, this is where we move towards AGI, artificial general intelligence, because yeah, it's going to make mistakes, but if it corrects itself before it becomes a situation that is dire or you know potentially cause an accident that's what's important because that's what we do as humans right unlike some other autonomous companies that thinking that you know lidar is going to save them they're still causing accidents so i don't know how um certain companies um <laughs> can uh claim level four autonomy in a geofenced area but on top of that they cause traffic jams in san francisco and they have to get a driver to drive two hours in the con in the traffic and then go ahead and move the car with a human you see tesla's never claimed anything more than it is it's level two autonomy right that's why we have a safety driver but i'll tell you what though with the amount of data that tesla has in san francisco they could actually probably run a geofenced level four autonomous system in san francisco okay now this is interesting we're kind of on the road but the navigation's a little screwy um, so it needs to turn left somewhere. So yeah, the navigation is completely off. Like it's gonna do this turnaround and oh man, that's really, ugh, that's heartbreaking because it's confused. Um, yeah, so the navigation is completely off on this. We need to be going in that street over there, but it rerouted itself instantly, which is the important part. So is it gonna go, I might have to tap the brake here People are like, you're so trustworthy of the system. So you might see my big ass head in the way. Um, looks like the light is stopping for them. But yeah, so I had to stop here. Um, the gentleman's letting me through, but it should have waited. Or if it was going to commit, it needs to commit. If it's going to go in front of traffic like that, it needs to commit right away. It was causing a traffic jam. So unfortunately, I had to disengage there, but let's um, let's try to let's try it again. Uh, at least that gentleman wasn't like upset about that. He was nice and just like let us through. So uh, before that situation happened, it rerouted itself um, to go this way. Ow, that was a bump. Let's see what it's gonna do. Okay, so it is getting better, but I think it, it still needs more data in those situations on those left turns, you know, but I've heard from other Michigan testers that it is doing the left turns correctly. Uh, and what I'm talking about is specifically the Michigan left turns is what I'm referring to. Okay, let's see how it does here. They redid the road here. This might be a bump. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. Um, okay, so it's getting over. Needs to get over quick. Okay, now that's a yellow light. Uh, it was undecisive. It technically just ran a red light. But it's the city of Detroit. Ain't nobody gonna come after me, I promise. And yeah, so this light it caught. It was undecisive, and then it just decided to proceed, and then... Um, I believe when we were in the intersection, it was red. So from Michigan law, now that I'm thinking back, cause I was looking left and right, make sure we're not running into anybody. It is definitely, um, not running a red light because if the light is red and we are on the line here, as we're approaching, it goes from green to yellow. And then we're at this line at a light and it turns red automatically that is running a red. But if you're in the intersection like this, and then it turns red, that is actually technically not running a red according to the Michigan Driving Handbook of Laws. So um, it needs to get over. Again, these lights are catching a little bit, but again, that was legal. And honestly, it just needed to stay in that lane because we gotta go in the outer lane, which is fine because the traffic that was with us is caught at that light there. So, um, you know, let's see how it does. Nice and wide, avoiding those cars, good, beautiful. Stopping on uh, red, waiting, checking, and then proceeding, which is really good. Nice and smooth through here. Smooth sailing. Wow, I mean, Jesus. I can only imagine, I saw that Musk and uh, one of his head engineers that replaced Andre Carpathy did a driver on Texas with V12, uh, version V12. And man, that was a lot better. Bumpy. I gotta get rid of these 21s, man. So 
Um, he's not technically supposed to go, but the car is proceeding nicely. And, um, oh, autopilot is complete with navigation. So let's go. So this cop doesn't think we're doing something. Um, <laughs> I, I disengaged the uh, navigation and now it's just like zooming through here, which is fine. I mean, it is 25 through here. So I'm gonna give it like a little bit, try to give it a little bit more of a difficult task. So let's see if, um, I'm just gonna, cause we're coming up to red light, nothing happened. I just wanna pick, um, I'm really intrigued to see what it's gonna do around Tiger Stadium. Like we're gonna go right to the front of it. Cause in my last video, Tiger's game let out. So I wanna get as much Tiger's content as I can, uh, essentially because of um, the season probably is gonna come to an end. I'm not a baseball guy, but I'm assuming because the colder weather is coming that they play in the spring and summer given their sport. Okay, so let's see what it's gonna do here. Okay, that's what it's supposed to do. When we used to do videos here in the winter, it was all construction, so a lot better. What it's gonna do, ooh, nice, nice. Uh, changing lanes away from path blockage doesn't even hesitate anymore. Man, this thing is really improved, not perfect. I wouldn't say like we're at level you know, four autonomy, but man, I could see actual general level three pretty soon here if they can just keep up this momentum. And then every time I say that, they release the next version and it's like, pfft, nothing. <laughs> Too many regressions backwards. And you know, what do they say? Two steps back, one step forward. Or at least I say that, but everybody else says two step forward, one step back. And it's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. This area should be very busy and I'm putting it in the heart of where all those people were going for the Tigers game. So I'm going to have my windows open during that period. And if I want to see if someone's going to say something <laughs> just for the added, added spice to the content, you know, and if anything gets too dangerous, obviously I'm not going to put people's lives at risk here. Um, so it needs to go that way, but apparently it was too hesitant about it. Interesting. It couldn't figure that turnout. That was weird. That was one of my favorite streets too, but okay. Rerouted itself, important part. Um, it just doesn't want to, okay, cool. I thought it was like having like a lane change problem, but this is fine. Um, the important part is that it's finding its way on its own and re rerouting. If there was something that it wasn't sure about, or there's a pedestrian I wasn't sure about that I wasn't seeing, because again, I'm not one with AI and I <laughs> can't understand what it's thinking, what it's doing, all that we know is what's presented on the screen here. So I'm definitely gonna upgrade the channel and I'm going to ahead uh, and you know put a GoPro here and kind of split screen it so you guys can kind of see both. Um, Cause I like that idea. That's the only thing I liked about the three and Y is that everything was on one screen, you guys could see it. But um, yeah, eventually I'm gonna upgrade you know, to another GoPro so you guys can definitely see that. So let's see. Um, okay, so undecisive about this yellow light and oh my god these manhole covers <laughs> i thought it like broke my whole rim <laughs> oh that scared me for a second because these rims are expensive for these cars i think a set of four like six grand for these summers and these 21 inch summers um so traffic is starting to pick up around here we are in the midst of the tigers game let's see what it's going to do this person is just sitting there they need to go go when when is fsd gonna honk for us that's what i want we want them aggressive detroit drivers okay so it's slowly creeping because this car for visibility it can go Ooh, anticipating this nicely slowly creeping because it sees with that now i'm gonna stop the system right here okay so this is like madness i can see in front of us and i want the car to um do this for us so let's see All right, so this is deep, heavy traffic. I'm gonna pull my windows down. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted with the music. There's DPD there as well. So let's see what it's gonna do. It's gonna try to navigate this. I'm gonna put the speed down a little bit. 
And if had to cut out the audio due to copyright reasons, but you can see that FSD is getting really close to this van and close to that police officer. So I was super, super nervous. I shut off the system and then I turned it back on just for the safety of the officer and the black Cadillac that does not seem to like FSD and FSD is battling it along with these pedestrians that just crossed. So staying super safe and avoiding all the situations. Another car coming from the right and it's taking that nice wide left lanes are completely gone here which is really interesting as i watch this back that it's finding its way and kind of you know creating stuff around it avoiding the manhole covers which is key but this road's a little dirty okay that wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be besides the point of almost running into that person nicely catching it should it should have anticipated that person way earlier that was kind of sad to be honest, but let's see what it's gonna do. It's going ahead. And this is common behavior you're gonna, you're gonna find in Detroit um, of people just randomly walking through cars, especially during sporting events. That's, that's just normal in a lot of big cities, but especially Detroit, like that's, you know, there's nothing surprising there for individuals to do that. But again, they technically still have the right of way, even though they are in, um, you know, the wrong, they are still technically a pedestrian. Okay, it's like kind of stopping, um, and I know why it's stopping because I just noticed on the on the secondary screen it said uh, stopping for visibility. So I wanted to go that way too, and now it's a yellow light. So let's um, let's let the car do that. And then I want to send it somewhere. I want to send it back. I really want to. I want to stress test the system. We can't go straight there. I want to I want to send the system again through there. That is that is fun. I just don't know where I'm at mentally. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a navigation point set. I want to see how this plays out. There's people to our left, highlighting them blue, which is good. You have the traffic coming from this way. So what is it going to do? And indicating left, path planners going left. Another person on. An electric uh, unicycle? Yeah, that's what that is, a unicycle. That's kind of cool. I've never seen one of those ever. I've seen the electric bikes. And now it's a yellow light. So now I, I felt it apply the brake. Okay, so yeah, we're going to send it through there again. We're going to make a loop. Let's make a loop. I want, I, this is the content you guys want. You don't want basic driving. You want this thing heavy up. Um, I waved at her and she stuck her tongue up and winked her eye. That's cute. But, um, and I'm only waving at people to let them know that I'm human and that FSD is way too up here. But you see how this gal, she like went out, you know, she saw that I was there. She went out and she knows this is Detroit. It is clear. It needs to go. It goes and proceeds. And here we are again. Um, <laughs> okay. It needs to like slow down. This is really scary. So... All right, it better not pick the puddle. So it's kind of waiting for these people. And, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, it's undecisive. It wanted to let you go, but it decided. <laughs> so it's going around this parked car. Um, okay, so these cars are parked. Definitely needs to not do that. Okay, so now it's assuming these cars are waiting its turn to go. So I'm gonna push it through. The path planner already wants to go to the right. So let's see what's gonna go. This is this is real madness. This is this is the stress test that the internet wants out here. Super close to these cars. It the path planner is showing that it wants to go that way. So it knows that these cars are stationary. And I'm probably gonna get so many copyright claims on this video because of all the music that's around me. So let's let's find out. We're gonna be, we're gonna be stuck here for a while, because if it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Like if it wants to keep up with this mess, like it needs to go. Okay, so I'm that was me pushing it forward. I just don't want it to get like around these like police officers and like scare them, but. Okay, so now. Let's see.
All right, so I, I disengaged by mistake because I thought I was gonna go into the Jeep, but it didn't. So. Same situation here by the Tiger Stadium number two. And you know, it's a lot more heavy traffic this time. Still the same police officers. You have whatever this is that people drink alcohol and pedal. Can never <laughs> find the name online of it. So again, same situation, more cars kind of merging itself nicely over to the left this time and it's kind of flowing with traffic like i said in the previous one that we did in this area that there was no uh, lane lines but a little bit less pedestrians here as the tigers game was let in and less people around the area um so let's let's send it let's try sending it down another one of those streets in front of tiger stadium i i literally want to make the rest of the video of this just stress testing the system um stress testing the system see oh this, this is weird with the navigation so i'm going to disengage here it can turn right on this street and go to the street that's indicated but it wants to go straight do a loop-de-loop -loop, and then come down i mean we can do that but i don't want to so let's uh let's see we don't know if those roads are closed i highly doubt they know see it wants to do that again that's so no we don't want to do that you can turn right like why Right, like, okay, this is me driving right now. Um, so sorry that, you know, we're not getting FSD content, but I don't want it to go straight. I mean, even though we should, but. So let's see if it's gonna reroute once I go on the road. And I want, this is the perfect opportunity. Damn you, FSD. But how am I gonna handle it? Do I remember to drive? I don't know. All these people are starting to notice the camera, so. We're making them famous. So let's see. All right, so now um, let's see if we can reroute it so it can actually turn right. Why do you wanna go straight though? Like we can literally turn right here, it's legal. Like, I don't understand, now I'm blocking traffic. So let's let's move up and get out of people's way. I didn't look to my left because I, so, I was so consumed in my $150,000 Tesla and all these peasants around me that this is me joking, guys, okay? This is me being sarcastic. So don't come after me in the comments, okay? All right, we're on this street now. Oh, look at the couple, they're getting married. Oh, that's beautiful at the Fillmore. That's an expensive place to have a wedding, but yeah, so I do have my windows open. I want I want you guys to get a little bit more lively experience. It cannot turn here. And um, I waved to him to let him know that I'm not turning down that street because the system did turn on its blinker. And that was a no-no. So, yeah, they pretty much block off all the streets around Tiger Stadium. Not surprised. But we're going to find a street. We're going to test out this system. We're going to test it out good. Nope, it does not want to go down these streets. All right, so let's see, it's gonna go around, try to go down this street. Okay, let's, nope, it already passed that. Nope, it already passed that. You can turn down this street, can you? I wanna see what it's gonna do. That's a stop sign there. That's interesting. So it's like, I think it's picking up the Google map data that, um, you know what I mean? That you can't go down this way, which is correct because the road is blocked off and it's probably picking up all the traffic and stuff like that. So no one behind us for a couple of seconds, waiting for this to clear. Let's see what it's gonna do. You can't go down this street. We're gonna go straight. Is it gonna get to the destination? Destination is like up over here, but it wants to go around again? Mm. This is really exciting as you can guys can tell in the last 20 minutes that I am being very, very, excited about this we still have 48 percent battery so definitely we're gonna do a couple more laps through that madness before they let the game in unfortunately i don't have time to sit a couple hours and wait till the game gets out oh we're gonna be here a while don't you guys just love me guys i'm here um let me just shut the windows because the band seems to be practicing don't you guys just love me? I'm here testing out the system with my time. 
and trying to stress test the system, which I am. And now the car is going to sit here because it's a red light. It needs to wait. Nice background music. I won't get copyrighted for this, but let's see. There are going to be parts in this video that I'm going to mute out and then I'm going to talk over it because of the copyright. Um, you know, let's uh, let's see what the system is going to do. And once I turn right, I'll open the windows back open and see. Okay, so let's open the windows again and the band stop practicing. So it wants to take a wide right, which is okay. I think it's creating distance between the people. So let's see which direction it's gonna go. All right, handling this very well. This is what I need. I just need to come down here and start the video off how I did, just do basic stuff and then stress test right away. Just like come down here on Tigers games is what I wanna say, or in the fall uh, for the Detroit Lions. Now, can it go straight? Okay, it cannot go straight. What is it gonna do? You can't, it's blocked off. What are you gonna do? It wants to go straight. It wants to go straight and now it's stopping. What is it doing? It's like literally stuck. There's no one behind us. There's people there. What is it doing? It's stuck. Now we can't go that way. Okay, so I'm gonna disengage it because it can't go that way. You're not supposed to do that. Um, Needs to reroute for temporary construction of closed road. All right. All right, we're gonna take a nice long detour here. So we're gonna send this. All right, we're gonna go around the Ford Field back near Tiger Stadium. So hopefully you guys didn't mind me having the windows open. It gives you more of a Detroit feel, especially during a game, because besides old school big three and cars that will be extinct and companies pretty soon, uh, that's all Detroit really has too, is the music. And I have to disengage here because I have 21 inch rims and thin tires and those, um, you know, let me try something. Needs to slow down and avoid temporary manhole covers. They're going to scratch 21 inch rims. And the reason I sent that in is because the car knows that I'm on 21s. And if they could program that into FSD to avoid scratching rims, that'd be really cool. Again, probably not on the list of type, top priorities, but that's more like a peasant, uh, excuse me, not a peasant, but a rich dudes thing, <laughs> as some of you would say in the comments, but let's, uh, let's find out. So, yeah, let's see what it's gonna do here. Okay, we are past the manhole covers. It's gonna turn right here. Those guys are avoiding manhole covers and it's good. And he, had, he, he didn't even see the camera. I mean, they're used to it downtown. Can we go down this street? I believe so. Can we? We're about to find out. Oh, that was a hard bump. All right, let's, uh, yeah, we, we can come down here. 10 miles per hour, that's correct. We're gonna bump it up to 15 because uh, so let's see, is the road gonna be closed down here? I don't know. This is the loading dock, I believe, for uh, the Ford Field where the Lions play, so. Okay, needs to stop. Stopping after a little bit of the stop sign. Okay. Not getting scared around the pedestrians. Nice it's okay. Car. Thank you. And a uh, little kid said, nice car. The, the kids know the future. Anyways, let, what is it gonna do here? I'm gonna bump this down to 10 so I'm not scaring people, but this is this is what we want. This is this is what the internet wants to see. Is it, is it, dude, it needs to like just dead stop right now, okay? We do not wanna scare kids and their families right now, okay? We want future kids to buy Teslas and that's what it is. All the kids are, you know what I mean, going crazy. So it's just hanging out. That's what it should do. I'm just gonna bump it up here because we have some room. Um, it's fighting me. I feel the brake tapping, but can it turn right? We're going to find out. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here technically, but okay, what is it gonna do? Because it can't go right, and it's gonna go right. It's gonna go right. What is it gonna do? Don't turn right. Okay, I'm gonna disengage the system. 
Um, same situation again, it cannot turn right at a path blockage. Clear construction signs. Fix, please. All right, so we're gonna send this, try sending this left. All right, cool. So still nervous around pedestrians, kind of doesn't know what to do. When it doesn't know what to do, they just need to program in to relax. That's all, that's all it needs to do, okay? And really zoom in through here. Again, when it sees so many pedestrians around the visualization, it needs to relax. Like right now, like it's so indecisive of where it needs to go because it's, it's processing. It can process a lot, but it needs to be calmer when it processes this stuff. Looks like we got some more events down here at Music Hall. Fellow Model 3. Um, so we're at 30, 36%, yeah, 36%. Um, so let's let's try to get into Tiger Stadium one more time. That area that I love so much, the, the dead heat, the, the pits of Detroit. What is it gonna do? How's it gonna handle it? Okay, it's gonna try. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna try more people. Hey guys, a bunch of people in a Tesla around my age. So what is it gonna do? I closed the windows for the music. Let's reopen them again, because I like this interaction. I wanna talk to Detroiters. I want them to get upset. I want them to be happy. I wanna get content, baby because you guys are sitting there and want to be entertained, I'm gonna give you that entertainment. So it needs to slow down. It needs to slow down. Okay. Dad holding his son's hand. Gotta be careful about that Elon Musk technology. I heard those things catch on fire. Buy yourself a Ford, Sonny, and wait for that tow truck on the side of the road. This is good. It's highlighting all these things. People, excuse me, they are not things. They are not objects. This is a thing. Or is it? Looks like the game is being let in, so less people out, but there's a lot of traffic to the left. Um, it can go. It needs to like start like just like merging right now. So I'm gonna push this through. There's no cars to the left, so okay. I'm letting off the accelerator. So one behind us technically. Let's see what it's gonna do. Pick the outer left lane. Pick the outer left lane. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, you can't pick there because that person's gonna drop off. Ooh, door was about to open and it hesitated. Looks like they went the other way. Oh, these copyright claims are going to be bad. So if I have to cut it off here, guys, DJ is spinning good music. I'll tell him that. But <laughs> I probably have to cut this off and talk over it, guys. And there's a gentleman walking in the middle of the road. Okay, a third time is a charm. Again, in front of Tiger Stadium, the game pretty much has let in. There's still a lot of people here at this main bar by the DJ and everything that is going on, working itself nicely around and creating space in vector space that it picks up with the cars and objects around it. A lot more traffic this time compared to the other two times. And it seems to want to go left and right and do its thing, but I'm holding on for dear life <laughs> as it goes in front of these cars uh, to make sure that nothing happens. And then I just pick another destination to go over to a different part of downtown um, and nicely going around those cars. FSD going over these manhole covers, but luckily it's under 10 miles per hour. So will give me a dent and luckily the thinner tires are on the back because this wide stance on this plaid but um let's see how much time we got we got more we got some more time 31 percent that's not bad man i picked a great day to come down here that was awesome stress test it did pretty well in my opinion uh, what are your guys' thoughts in the comments? Let me know. Like, was it legit or, um, you know, was it scary? What was it? So let's see. Handling itself well. Don't go over the box. Oh, it went, oh, and just missed the box. Okay, that's good. All right, 
slow moving vehicle it has its hazards on the car's got to see it let's let these cars go um he's in an ev as well okay cool she's not gonna yell at us i think those are the uh meter the meter maids i think they're called okay it, it's planning the path oh i see why it's waiting it's waiting for this gentleman okay that's cool so it waited for the pedestrian and now it's gonna go around well, was planning the planning the path so let's see i'm gonna push it through okay don't need to now it's going good good wide turn wide turn for no reason sorry guys i had to disengage there because they're redoing these roads and i just don't want to keep hitting the manhole covers um so okay this is good it can just go straight still a lot of action outside of tiger stadium too let's see what it's gonna do Okay, perfect scenario. <laughs> nope, it's gonna run right into the cone. So unfortunately, um, it was gonna run right into that cone. Uh, the message didn't come up for me to report that, but um, that is great training data, man. This is why we have this software. Let's see, it should go around the cone. Like, does it not have the occupancy network? Jesus, and it needs to stop. Like. This, this upsets me. Like, why? We should be past this. Like, okay. Sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, I said sorry to him. Okay. I don't know where it's going. That was the road that we were supposed to turn down, but it decided to go straight. So it's like, what? Okay, rerouting. So it's fine. I, like, I, like I said. Oh no, oh. <laughs> They noticed, that was fun. At least his comment was like friendly. Use your hands! <laughs> this is why I come down here. Detroiters are so funny. <laughs> so, um, those guys are cool. But uh, I thought he was gonna say, Elon Musk is a fraud. I would've been like, yes! There's my content, baby. I gotta go to the right a little bit, guys. Sorry, there was one of those uh, little cones there and I didn't want the car to run over it. Sorry, buddy. We're the real electric vehicle, not you, LOL. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going straight. All right, so that was like super interesting. Um, wow, that was a lot. <laughs> I get to come down here during these athletic games, man. That's fun. So I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send it randomly somewhere near um, near the stadium. Again, we're gonna try to go a different way around. Okay, good. And now we're back into the traffic. So people honking at us, people doing this and that. It's green for me, buddy. Well, I mean, it's the Detroit crowd, so I'm not surprised. Okay, so. Now, when is it gonna obey officers like this gentleman here that is doing a fantastic job correcting traffic, you know? Letting people through. This is, this is when it's going to get impressive. Nope, too much of a situation. Um, let's see, he kind of looked at me. Um, it is what it is. He was probably wondering what was going on. It was The car was kind of heading straight for him. So definitely, definitely needs a lot more work in stressful environments like that. So I'm going to go left to avoid these big buses. And I'm gonna send it right. Let's see if it's gonna pick its way into here. Come on, you got room. Yes, go, go, go. Damn it. All right, the highway's really loud. Let's see what it's gonna do. Okay, so that was room.
All right, so we're going forward. That's good. Had to um, had to disengage the system there because it wanted to turn into this lane, but that's not where we're going. So again, this lane is closed. I'm just going straight, buddy. That is a stop sign. Cool. All right, cool. So we're going back down this street again. The same street again, what is it gonna do? So it knows that's a lane. It can't go there, but yet here we are again. So same situation. The band is gone that was here. Is it gonna go straight? Oh, now the band is going inside. So, again, doesn't make the wide turn. Mm. Kind of strange, throwing people off. Yeah, it's not gonna go straight because we can't do that. Okay. This is great content, by the way. Usually I'm done recording by now, like 15 minutes ago, but you know, let's, um, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna turn the system back on while we're waiting for all this traffic to get in. Great content, loving this content. So we're just gonna be stuck here and I just don't want the battery to waste out. So that guy is going mm -hmm. into there. I'm gonna go straight. But wants to turn into that, it wants to turn into that uh, parking lot, which is strange why it wants to do that, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Man, this is eating up my battery. But we got time. We still got 16% left, guys. I think we're gonna make it. Wow, this is taking so long. Man, my apologies about this, guys. I didn't know we were gonna get stuck. Usually things move pretty quickly here. Okay, cool. Looks like that car is being let in so i'm just gonna go straight get out of these people's way and back to the recording okay i don't think i have to cut that part out so wanted to get close and now it's widening itself which is good it needs to good that's very good nice all right and anticipated that gentleman that was in the middle of the street pretty well did he get scared of him which is key Okay, so this is yet again that same street with the uh, bumpy areas. So I don't have much battery left, so I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, if you guys want me to come down when it is really busy like this and there's a lot of people out, I just happened to have good timing and I didn't even know a Tigers game was going on today because um, I'm usually busy on the weekends, but today I was free. So I got this update a day ago, wanna shoot to you guys. If you do though, let me know in the comments because that was really fun. There was people kind of looking at me. I was hoping to get like a dude screaming inside my car, like Elon Musk is a fraud. Yeah, you know I mean, like, how do you how do you like driving a car from a fraud guy? Like, I'm waiting for those comments. No, I'm kidding. But I liked everybody's attitudes. You know, everything about it. So, I mean, in conclusion, final thoughts. Really good update. Still has a little bit of ways to go, in my opinion. Um, but I can see the system is getting a lot better with stuff. And it is getting more, you know, specific about stuff. It is getting a lot better. And I, I like the improvements. So, again, thanks for tuning in to Detroit Tesla. Until next time, 
Stay safe.